believe this will fast track the likelihood that you would otherwise gone into a manual process that could take upwards of 60 days. After a major backlog and massive fraud, Governor Gavin Newsom announced a strike team to look at issues plaguing the state's Employment Development Department. Your ID me account. One solution for the delays and backlog was an identification system called ID me. The system was supposed to make things easier for people applying to get unemployment benefits and even speed up the application process. I was so frustrated and I thought this this is wrong. That was not the experience for Kathleen Klug. She had applied for unemployment benefits back in March, but was initially ineligible. When the pandemic unemployment assistance program was enacted, she was able to apply and EDD actually called her in November to say she should call and talk to a specialist. Every day, and I would call, there are seven days a week supposedly, but I would literally call at eight o'clock and they'd say, by the time I went through the thing, they'd say, you know, we, we have too many calls and we are unable to help you. And literally they'd hang up. So it was like impossible. Then Kathleen remembered you could apply online using ID me to get started. I submitted my passport, my social security card. Um, I submitted my face, I submitted, you know, my insurance. But after all the fraud KCRA 3 investigates has exposed over the past months involving the dark web, criminal fraud rings, and now even inmates inside the state's prisons and jails, there is another step added to the ID Me verification at EDD. The Employment Development Department and ID Me require a video call like this to prove you are who you say you are. But Klug and others say they found the process is not as quick as Governor Newsom and EDD say it is. ID Me told Klug the wait time was 30 minutes. But after an hour, Kathleen couldn't wait anymore. And the system said she'd have to save and finish later. I'd get my email, you're almost finished. And then I'd go back from their email and they said, submit your documents again. So I literally would have to send them again. And, and I, in the meantime, I'm saying, what is going on? Where's all my documents going? So it's been very frustrating and I've gotten a lot of canned responses. ID Me logs show Klug went through this process 13 times and found others just like her online, logging on to finish their application only to start over from the beginning. KCRA 3 reached out to both EDD and ID Me to find out why people were ending up in this endless loop. CEO Blake Hall at ID Me says their logs don't support her claim that she had to upload her documents every time. He says, given the demand from legitimate claimants and the volume of fraud we are fighting, a 30 minute wait time doesn't seem to be excessive. Some users might have to upload documents again if they didn't upload the required documents per the instructions the first time. EDD sent a letter saying, while we don't believe this is a widespread issue, we are working very closely with IDME to ensure customers receive all of the assistance they need as timely as possible to successfully get through the identity verification process. So I seriously don't know what to do. I, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm at a complete loss. KCRA 3 Investigates put Klug in touch with ID Me, and within an hour, the company put a specialist on a video chat with her and got her verification finished. But she's worried about the documents that she and others like her uploaded over and over again. And I know this is overwhelming. I've really been trying to get patient, but I, you know, I think that there's also an issue with the sensitivity of these documents. I mean, I'm submitting my Social Security card, you know, my passport. Um, and other, you know, other docs, secondary documents. But, you know, that's a, that over on, you know, repeatedly, um, I'm online and it's just, I wouldn't do that for anybody.